Hello everyone. This is 3Z. Don't forget subscribe. Elephant. The largest land animals currently living are elephants. There are currently three recognized extant species, the Asian elephant, the African forest elephant, and the African bush elephant. They are the only remaining representatives of the order Proboscidea and family Elephantidae. During the Pleistocene, the order was once considerably more diverse, but during the late Pleistocene epoch, the majority of species went extinct. Elephants are known for their long trunk, which they also have tusks, enormous ear flaps, pillar-like legs, and durable yet delicate skin. Breathing, transporting food and water to the mouth, and object grasping are all done by the trunk. Tusks, which are made from the incisor teeth, are used as weapons as well as propulsion and digging tools. Both communication and maintaining a consistent body temperature are made easier by the big ear flaps. Asian elephants have convex or level backs and smaller ears than their African counterparts, who have larger ears and concave backs. Elephants can be found in a variety of environments, including savannas, woodlands, deserts, and marshes, all over Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. When water is available, they dwell close to it and are herbivores. Due to the influence they have on their surroundings, they are regarded as keystone species. Elephants live in a fish fusion society where different family groups interact socially. The majority of females, cows, prefer to live in family units, which may include a single mother and her calf or numerous related females and their offspring. The eldest cow, or matriarch, usually takes charge of the groupings, which exclude bulls. When they reach adolescence, males, bulls, leave their family groups and may live alone or with other males. When searching for a mate, adult bulls typically interact with family units. They experience must, a state of elevated testosterone and hostility that aids in both dominance over other males and successful reproduction. Calves depend on their moms for up to three years and are the center of attention in their family groupings. Elephants in the wild have a lifespan of up to 70 years. Elephants communicate over vast distances using infrasound and seismic waves in addition to touch, sight, smell, and sound. Elephants have been compared to primates and cetaceans in terms of intelligence. They seem self-aware and to feel sympathy for ailing and deceased family members. The International Union for Conservation of Nature lists African bush elephants, Asian elephants, and African forest elephants as threatened or endangered IUCN. The ivory trade, which results in elephant populations being poached for their ivory tusks, is one of the largest risks. Conflicts with locals and habitat deterioration are two other dangers to wild elephants. In Asia, elephants are used as working animals. They were once employed in warfare. Today, they are frequently controversially shown in zoos or utilized as amusement in circuses. Elephants are easily recognizable and have appeared throughout literature, folklore, religion, popular culture, and art. Extinct Relatives and Evolution The order Proboscidea has around 180 extinct members and three significant evolutionary radiations. The first radiation was announced by the earliest proboscids, the African Aerotherium and Phosphotherium of the late Paleocene. 18. Africa provided the Eocene with Numidotherium, Moratherium, and Baratherium. These creatures were aquatic and rather small. Later, taxa like Phyomia and Paleomastodon emerged, the latter probably lived in open woodlands and forests. During the Oligocene, the diversity of Protocidians decreased. Eritrium Melichigabrachistosi, which was found in the Horn of Africa, was a significant species of this age and may have been related to a number of later species. The second diversification took place at the start of the Miocene, when Deinotheres and Mamutids first appeared. The former, which existed in Africa and Eurasia and was connected to Baratherium, and the later, which may have come from Eritrium, 20, may have spread to North America. The development of the Gomphotheres in the Miocene, which most likely developed from Eritrium and originated in Africa before spreading to all continents with the exception of Australia and Antarctica, served as a representation of the second radiation. 
Platybelodon and Gomphotherium were among its members. The third radiation, which began in the late Miocene, brought about the appearance of elephantids, which descended from Gomphotheres and gradually superseded them. Loxodonta, Mammothus, and Elephus are descendants of the African Primelophus Gomphotheroides. Mammothus and Elephus diverged later during the early Pliocene, while Loxodonta branched out first around the Miocene and Pliocene boundary. While Mammothus and Elephus migrated to Eurasia and the former made it to North America, Loxodonta remained in Africa. At the same period, the Stegodontids, another proboscidean group descended from Gomphotheres, colonized most of Asia, including China, Southeast Asia, Japan, and the Indian subcontinent. Mamutids kept on diversifying, giving rise to new species like the American Mastodon. Elephantids underwent rapid diversification at the start of the Pleistocene. The largest terrestrial mammal in history, Paleoloxodon nematicus, arrived during the Pleistocene as well. Later in the Pleistocene, Elephas iolensis succeeded Loxodonta atlantica as the dominant species in northern and southern Africa. Only after Elephas vanished from Africa did Loxodonta once more take the lead, giving rise to the modern species. In Asia, Elephas evolved into new species like E. hysudricus and E. platycephus, the latter of which is thought to be the ancestor of the contemporary Asian elephant. Several species, including the well-known woolly mammoth, descended from the genus Mammothus. Elephanted species appear to have interbred often, which in some cases produced species like the Paleoloxodon antiquus, which contained three ancestral genetic components. The majority of proboscidean species went extinct in the late Pleistocene during the Quaternary Glaciation, which wiped out 50% of all genera weighing more than 5 kilograms 11 pounds globally. Proboscideans underwent a number of evolutionary tendencies, including a rise in size that produced numerous enormous species that could reach heights of 500 centimeters, 16 feet 5 inches. Like other mega herbivores, such as the ancient sauropod dinosaurs, elephants' huge size presumably evolved to enable them to thrive on low nutritional value vegetation. Their feet became smaller and wider as their limbs became longer. The sesamoid bone and cushion pads helped the foot transition from their plantigrade state to a digitigrade one. While more derived proboscideans had shorter mandibles, which moved the head center of gravity, early ones had longer mandibles and smaller craniums. In order to properly support the growing head, the neck shrank and the skull got larger overall, especially the cranium. The movable trunk was developed and lengthened to give reach as a result of the increase in size. Premolars, incisors, and canines became less in number, particularly after elephants started to transition from C3 plants to C4 grasses, which caused their teeth to undergo a threefold increase in teeth height as well as a significant multiplication of lamellae after about 5 million years ago, the cheek teeth, molars and premolars, of proboscideans grew larger and more specialized. They didn't go back to a diet that was primarily made up of C3 trees and shrubs until the past million years or so. Depending on the species, the top second incisors developed into tusks that could be straight, curled either upward or downward, or spiraled. Tusks can be seen growing from some proboscidean lower incisors. Elephants still have some traits from their aquatic ancestry, such the shape of their middle ears. Numerous species of proboscideans underwent insular dwarfism and lived on islands. Although miniature elephants existed earlier in the Pliocene, this mainly happened during the Pleistocene when certain elephant groups became isolated due to shifting sea levels. Due to scarce nutrients and a lack of sizable or healthy predator populations, these elephants probably shrunk in size on islands. Small mammals, such as rats, however, experienced gigantism in these circumstances. There is evidence that dwarf elephants once roamed Indonesia, the California Channel Islands, and a number of Mediterranean islands. Anatomy Elephants are the largest land mammals currently living. The largest species is the African bush elephant, which is 247 to 273 centimeters, 8 feet 1 inch, 8 feet 11 inches, tall at the shoulder and weighs 2.6 to 3.5 t, 5.7 to 7.6 short tons, and males and 304 to 336 centimeters, 
10 feet 0 inches, 11 feet 0 inches, at the shoulder in males, 2.9 to 3.9 short tons. Asian elephant males typically stand between 261 to 289 centimeters, 8 feet 7 inches to 9 feet 6 inches at the shoulder and weigh between 3.5 and 4.6 t 3.9 and 5.1 short tons while females stand between 228 and 252 centimeters 7 feet 6 inches to 8 feet 3 inches and weigh between 2.3 and 3.1 t 2.5 to 3.4 short tons the smallest species of elephants are those found in africa Males of this species typically stand 209 to 231 centimeters, 6 feet 10 inches, to 7 feet 7 inches, tall at the shoulder and weigh 1.7 to 2.3 t, 1.9 to 2.5 short tons. Male Asian elephants are only around 15% taller than female Asian bush elephants, who are typically 23% taller than females. Bones 326 to 351 bones make form the elephant's skeleton. The stiff joints that link the vertebrae reduce the flexibility of the backbone. Asian elephants have 19 or 20 pairs of ribs, compared to 21 pairs in African elephants. Head the elephant's skull is strong enough to withstand the forces produced by head-to-head -head collisions and the leverage of the tusks. The brain is shielded from all sides by arches that are formed as the rear of the skull is flattened and stretched out. The air chambers in the skull, known as sinuses, help to keep the skull's general strength while reducing its weight. The interior of the skull resembles a honeycomb due to many cavities. Since the cranium is so big, there is space for the muscles to attach and support the entire head. The lower jaw is strong and substantial. The neck is relatively short because of the size of the head since it offers better support. The harterian gland serves as the eye's only source of moisture because it lacks a lacrimal system. The eye globe is shielded by a robust nictitating membrane. The position and restricted mobility of the eyes reduce the animal's field of vision. Elephants are thought to be dichromats, meaning that intense light impairs their ability to see. Elephant ears are round with thick bases and narrow tips. Many capillaries, also known as blood vessels, can be seen in the ear flaps or penny. Warm blood enters the capillaries, aiding in the body's heat release into the environment. When the penny are still, this happens. The animal can increase the effect by fluttering the penny. More heat can be released from larger ear surfaces since they have more capillaries. African bush elephants have the biggest ear flaps of all the elephant species and live in the hottest environments. 40. Elephants can hear at low frequencies, with their sensitivity peaking at 1 kHz, in close proximity to the soprano C. Teeth. Elephants typically have 26 teeth, 12 deciduous premolars, 12 molars, and the incisors, sometimes known as the tusks. Elephants are polyphyodonts, which means that they rotate their teeth periodically during their lives, as opposed to most mammals, who develop baby teeth before replacing them with a single permanent set of adult teeth. In a typical elephant's lifetime, the chewing teeth are replaced six times. In contrast to most mammals, teeth are not replaced by new ones that emerge vertically from the jaws. Instead, new teeth emerge from the mouth's back in advance to push out the old ones. When the elephant is two to three years old, the first chewing tooth on either side of the jaw falls out. Between the ages of four and six, the second set of chewing teeth is lost. The fourth set lasts until ages 18 to 28, while the third set expires at ages 9 to 15. At the age of 40 or so, the fifth set of teeth falls out. The elephant must use the sixth, and typically last, set for the duration of its lifetime. Dental ridges on elephant teeth are loop-shaped, however African elephants' ridges are thicker and more diamond-shaped.